after an entire year of being subjected to unalloyed trash generated by box office sharks that cannot see beyond their weekend collections. Bollywood enthusiasts who value their intelligence and their hard-earned money finally have reason to rejoice. Park is here. Raj Kumarani's first film in five years is a warm, funny and piercingly provocative satire that should blow the blues away. It is the kind of full-blooded but genteel entertainer that should get us all into just the right frame of mind to usher in Christmas and bid the due to a year that has seen us celebrate ugly excess on all fronts with unseemly glee. Park, buoyed by a magnificent script and outstanding acting all around, is an uplifting fantasy that springs a surprise that ever turned but never overplays its hand. It comes as close to storytelling perfection as any mainstream Hindi movie has done in living memory. It has great songs, beautifully filmed musical set pieces, brilliant pacing and merry a moment that flags. As a cinematic setup on God's true and fake, Park pulls no punches at all and speaks its mind like a carefree child that has just learned to talk and make sense of the world. But this hard-hitting critique of all that hails a nation that seems to have lost its human bearings and is in blind pursuit of false panaceas remains good nature all the way through. The screenplay by Hirani and Abid Jab Joshi demands a degree of willing suspension of disbelief, especially when it comes to a few of the pivotal coincidences that drive the narrative. The characters and the crucial dramatic and comic moments are, however, informed with such infectious warmth and beauty that nothing that the plot throws up is ever in danger of bringing overly false. The five-year hiatus between three aliens and this film has clearly served them well. The screenwriters have worked a delicately crafted love story into the top tapestry of Park, thereby lending it an emotional dimension that usually eludes a high-minded satire. Even the principal antagonist in Park, Top Half B Madhara played superbly by Saurabh Shapak, isn't an ogre designed to evoke disgust. Park is out to provoke but not to shock. The film asks questions via its idiots of its protagonist, but does not attempt to deliver facile, absolute answers and that makes it all the more effective. Park is propelled primarily by A.A. Mir Khan's delightfully droll superstar turn and the nameless fear from outer space who is stranded on planet Earth, in Rajasthan and Delhi to be precise. This is an unlikely saga of an alien who lands in the desert completely naked like a newborn baby and then proceeds to acquire the way of human adults in a bid to survive in a hostile environment. His fate hinges on whether he can regain a stolen gadget that he needs in order to return to his home light years away and cling on to his purity as his brushes with mankind becomes increasingly hazardous. In one of the film's worst scenes, he learned the language of humans by drawing words out of the mind of a sleepy Bakuri speaking sex worker that he is led to by his only friend in the desert of Rajasthan, band master E. H. Aaron Singh, Sanjay Dud. The search for the remote control device that he needs to summon his spaceship back to Earth eventually sees him end up in India's capital city. There he encounters a tenacious television journalist Jagusani A. Nushka Sharma just back with a painful heartbreak in beautiful Brutus. He also comes up against a rapacious godman who is responsible for thwarting Jagu's marriage with her Pakistani boyfriend Sarfaraz Yusu Sushant Singh Rajput. The girl, befuddled by the long-eared stranger's unpredictable and inexplicable powers and saddled with the breaking news of a suicidal puppy, sells the story to the channel boss Bowman Hirani. Once he finds his way onto the television screen, the unflappable extraterrestrial unleashes a storm that sweeps everything and everyone in its way. And that most certainly includes the audience. Say Nushka Sharma, playing a feisty poetry-loving girl who knows her mind far more than most Hindi film heroines are allowed to, holds her own against A. A. Mir Khan. A. A. Mir revels in the character of the wide-eyed, fearless rebel who dares to challenge the societal and religious structures that encourage bigotry and distrust. Sushant Singh Rajput has only a cameo in Park but in the handful of scenes that he is in, including one in the run-up to the climax that ratchets of emotions and vigorously pulls the heartstrings, he gives a great account of himself. Do watch out for Ranbir Kapoor, a little icing on a cake so advertising that it will have you clamoring for more. Park is the winner all the way, the film that Raj Kapoor, the Mulroy and Guru Dutt would have been proud of had they been alive. Raj Kumarani is without a doubt their most worthy standard error. Pisa Movie Review.